from a leadership perspective, you have to, you have to pay attention to. So when you're a leader in any organization, you're basically in charge of a mob. When it comes to what their morale is, they're, they're a mob and they feed off of each other just like a mob rioting in the streets going, oh, we can break this window, let's break all the windows. And they, they, they move this mob mentality. And that happens with morale inside of a team. And you as a leader can't get caught up with the mob. You can't let that happen. You have to detach yourself from the mob mentally so that you don't get caught up in their emotions and their morale because if you get caught up in their emotions and you get caught up in mora their morale, you can't correct it. So we go out on a mission. The mission goes great. We get into a gunfight, kill a couple bad guys. Everyone's okay. High fives. Everyone's feeling great. You come back to base. Hey, we don't need to debrief. That was perfect. Hey, we don't need to get our gear you know, uh, maintained. We can just go to bed. We, we're awesome. That's when the leader has to say, oh, We've got the mob, and the mob is becoming slightly arrogant. Hey, guys, real quick, that was a good op, but there's some things we could improve on. you got to bring that mob back and bring them back to center line. Same thing in the other direction. You go out on an operation, it doesn't go well. You go out on an operation, you take casualties. Now you come back to base. You see guys moping around. You see the, the spirit starting to break, and it, same thing. If, you, if you're part of that mob, you'll be you'll be with them your morale will be breaking your spirit will be breaking you got to look at them and say oh i see what's happening hey guys listen up that was tough didn't go the way we wanted it to go we need to learn some lessons here's some things i can do better what can we do better to make sure that that never happens again what can we do to make sure we have the opportunity to go out and avenge our brother on the battlefield what can we do to move this thing forward so as a leader, when it comes to winning and losing, you're generally going to be the person countering what the mob mentality is. Because when the mob starts winning, they want to keep winning and they might get arrogant. When the mob is losing, they might start to lose more because their attitude goes down the drain. So that's what you have to pay attention to from a leadership perspective. For, for me personally, I think... I know what I did when when I lost guys was focus on all right we need to we need to celebrate the life we need to move the lo mourn the loss and then we need to go to work we need to get our gear back on we need to lock and load our weapons we need to get back out there I, I know that that's what we needed to do you know so often the best way to contend with, with problems, with issues, with adversity is action, is by taking action. The more you sit and the more you wait and the more time you spend with that adversity with the upper hand inside your head, the, the worse it's going to get. So for me, always taking action, making something happen. It doesn't have to be huge. It doesn't have to be some mammoth you know, um, triumph that you're going to go and go and pursue. But if you say, Hey, listen, this is what happened. Didn't go the way we wanted it to. We're going to get our gear back on. We're going to go back out. We're going to, we're going to, we're going to do this other mission. And that's, that's what I think. I think taking action and it's in a, in your personal life too. You know, something doesn't go the way you wanted it to go. You didn't get the job you wanted. You didn't get the hire. You didn't get the promotion. You can go home and sit there and, and, and dwell on it. That's not getting you any progress. Or you say, okay, you know what? Let me do a quick analysis. Why didn't I get that promotion? Oh, it's because I didn't get this qualification or I hadn't jumped through this gate. Okay, cool. What do I need? To, let, let, me, let me look into how do, I, how do I get to jump through that gate so next time I will get the promotion and you start taking action. So action for me is a cure for a lot of problems that we have.